Talk about a wild ride. These little fish were weighed and measured, photographed and marked before they knew what hit them. We're at Wild Rose State Fish Hatchery where we are mass marking Chinook salmon for our Lake Michigan program. We're removing a fin and we're implanting a coat of our tag on about 700,000 Chinook salmon today. Normally uh, in a system like this it would all be done by hand. So we would have 10, 15 fin clippers trying to take, let's say, 90,000 Chinook salmon. It might take two weeks. This uh, mass market could do that in a day. The fish marking trailer looks like something Dr. Seuss would dream up. There's one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Why, there's fish everywhere. The fish are actually being scanned, measured to a tenth of a millimeter in accuracy, and then they're diverted to the six sorting line. The tagging lines consist of this volitional entry device, which relies on the salmon's instincts to swim upstream into a current. Each fish enters the tagging line individually, is clamped, and then receives the adipose fin clip. It goes down to the Mark IV tagging machine, which then puts a glitter wire tag in. The fish that are too big or too small get diverted to the back of the trailer, where then they're hand clipped and hand uh, tagged. The main purpose is so we can identify these Chinook salmon as hatchery reared fish, as opposed to naturally reproduced fish in Lake Michigan. So at the end of the day, we'll know how many fish are stocked by a hatchery and how many are naturally reproduced out in the wild. It's really the first effort by all the states around the entire Great Lakes. The entire goal is to mass mark all the salmon and trout on the U.S. side of things to the tune of 25 million salmon and trout that really are the backbone of the fishery for the Great Lakes and are a tremendous economic benefit to the tune of $7 billion annually just on fishing alone. So we have a delicate balance between you know, stocking salmon and trout in the Great Lakes uh, and how much forage is out there. So it's something we're always trying, trying to maintain and make sure we have a healthy fishery for all the anglers out there.